<clears throat> Good morning. The Federal Reserve has warned that waiting too long could overheat the economy. Now there is a silence period of one and a half weeks until next week's Federal Reserve meeting and they used the last day, and that was the Friday, to give um, a very precise hawkish hints to um, the rate hike, which um, uh, given those comments is still in the cards even for September. Markets reacted sharply. The complacency that we were in in the past two months has been broken. The double top, um, there is a double top formation in the Dow Jones, which normally stands at the end of an uptrend. So Dow Jones for industrials, for the equities there, um, are in corrective mode now, technically. 2% down feels like 10% down on Friday. Um, uh, feels like much more because we come from a very low volatility environment. Now volume is coming back. We had a breakout on Wall Street and in the European equity markets in August, which was based on very low volume. Now volume has come back and now we need to see buyers at the levels that we are at, at this morning. Now, if you look at the JGBs and the rates of the JGBs, they have gone up from 0.05% to 0.5% in four weeks. The prices of 30-year um, Japanese government bonds has gone down 15%. So anybody who invested in JGBs um, four weeks ago has lost 300 years of interest cumulative. And so that is a very um, delicate development for stock markets because right now we have the situation that equities are relatively expensive and at the same time government bonds are extremely expensive. So both are very expensive. That could have been a situation that could have lasted for virtually forever as long as rates of government bonds would have stayed on a very low level. But now we have the situation that they bounce off their 0% um, lower bound mark and they rise relatively quick. And that is a very dangerous development for equities. And um, now we had a uh, finance minister meeting uh, of, of uh, Eurozone finance ministers in Bratislava. And there is the uh, finance minister from Malta saying that the austerity which has um, like crippled Eurozone, stock, uh, Eurozone uh, governments in the past um, years actually has ended. They want to invest and uh, do, in, do want to invest um, based on debt finance, uh, debt, debt finance stimulus programs. And that was also the message somehow from the T20. They didn't say that they want to make new debt to um, get new growth, but the message from the G20 in China just uh, a week ago was that governments now need to make sure that um, growth is coming back. So if, and that is the very delicate and interesting, uh, uh, and, uh, yeah, interesting question for equity markets, if, government bond, if governments worldwide were to engage in debt financed stimulus programs again, then the question is, can rates stay as long as they, uh, as low as they are right now? Can they stay there or will they go up? Now, take that um, and combine that with the normalization uh, plans of the Federal Reserve when it comes to their future monetary policy and you have a mix which is not the best mix for equity markets going forward.